Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to another episode of the Creepy and Paranormal Podcast. I hope that you have been looking after yourselves and staying well and just enjoying your time here on this earth as it is really, really precious and each day should be lived to the absolute maximum. Today's episode we are going to be looking at the serial killer, uh, American serial killer by the name of Darren Dion Van whom I'll be very honest, I had not heard about him until I came across the story and it's a wild one. It's a short one, but it's a real wild one. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and find it as interesting as I did. And yeah, once again, we've got to give a massive shout out, shout out to our sponsors of the show by the name of Invoice Cloud as well as Home Ground Coffee. So yeah, it is that time. Before we dive into the show, we have got to drop the intro. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Shadow of Darren Dion Van In the quiet town of Gary, Indiana, Darren Dion Van lived an unremarkable life. Born to a struggling family, he grew up in a modest neighborhood, and despite showing moments of intelligence, Darren never stood out in any way. As he entered adulthood, he moved to nearby Chicago, hoping to find better opportunities but life didn't unfold as he had hoped. As time passed, a darkness began to brew within Darren. He felt a growing rage against the world, blaming society for his failures and personal shortcomings. The frustration and anger turned inward, creating a seething cauldron of hatred that festered over the years. In the year 1993, the first sign of the darkness emerged when Darren Dean Vane was implicated in a minor assault case. Although he was not convicted, this incident marked the beginning of a dangerous path he would soon walk. To the outside world, Darren maintained a perfect facade. He was seemingly an ordinary man, leading a mundane life. However, he also worked odd jobs, blended into crowds, and smiled politely when needed. Beneath the mask, a sinister plan was forming. In 2014, the world would shudder at the revelation of Darren Dean Van's true nature. Police stumbled upon the body of a missing woman in a motel room. After swift investigation, they traced the crime back to Van. Upon arrest, Darren calmly confessed to not only the murder, but also to several others. As the investigation deepened, The true extent of Van's heinous acts were unveiled. For years, he had been preying on vulnerable women, luring them into his clutches with false promises or threats. He targeted those struggling with addiction, homelessness or poverty, knowing their disappearances would not draw immediate attention. Darren's chilling confession led the authorities to a series of chilling discoveries. Bodies were found in abandoned buildings, rivers, and hidden locations throughout Gary, Indiana, as well as Chicago. Everybody has their own morning routines, but on the top of my list is coffee. Strong, hot, black coffee. I physically can't start the day without a cup. However, sometimes life gets in the way and you're forced to buy a cup of coffee while on the road. And if you're like me, you struggle to find one that tastes good and is affordable. Well now, there is a one-stop solution for you. Home Ground Coffee. The name is brilliant and so is the service. Situated at Benoni Northern Sports Ground, it's a nice central point for your morning commute. And why not get a delicious muffin or pie to go along with it? Home Ground Coffee is the perfect go-to and I advise you strongly to give them a try. When you do, let them know that I sent you. Find them on Facebook at Home Ground Coffee 
as well as Instagram. That's Home Ground Coffee, H-O-M-E-G-R-O-U-N-D. Today's sponsor is called Invoice Cloud. Now, this is really awesome if you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, or even a freelancer. You know how difficult it is to manage and then create those invoices for your customers. But with Invoice Cloud, you have everything you need to create simple, professional estimates on the fly. It's easy to use and understand and getting rid of all the nonsense so you can have more time to do what matters most, which is to grow your business. Invoice Cloud allows you to add your company details, logo, customer information, as well as products, making it a breeze to send estimates to your clients anytime, anywhere. Now, if you want to start your free seven day trial and get invoicing in just under five minutes, all you need to do is head over to invoicecloud.co.za and boom, you are sorted. That's invoicecloud.co.za. The numbers were staggering as the death toll rose to nearly a dozen women. The trial of Darren became a media sensation, capturing the nation's attention. The courtroom was filled with grief-stricken families seeking justice for their lost loved ones. And as the evidence piled up against him, Darren's facade of control began to crack, revealing a man consumed by his own malevolence. During the trial, Psychiatrists delved into Darren's psyche, attempting to understand the depths of his evil. Childhood trauma, coupled with years of repressed anger and resentment, painted a harrowing picture of the making of a monster. Yet, even as, as his motives were analysed, the victim's families demanded justice as well as closure. And after weeks of intense testimony, the jury deliberated and returned with a verdict guilty on all counts. Darren Dion Van was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The courtroom erupted with a mix of emotions, relief, sorrow and a lingering sense of unease that such darkness could exist in an unremarkable man. Despite Darren's imprisonment, the shadow of his actions would forever loom over the memories of the victims and their families. The case would serve as a chilling reminder that monsters can often hide in plain sight and that true evil may reside within those that we least expect. This short story of Darren Dion Van is one of the tragedy as well as darkness, an exploration of the capacity for evil that exists in the human soul. It serves as a reminder to remain vigilant, to protect the vulnerable, and to never underestimate the potential darkness that may lie within any of us. And that's where we'll wrap up the story of Darren. I hope you've enjoyed this short little story, which is, of course, a true story. It's not um, one that I've made up or come across. It is a true story, in fact, and rather chilling. If you go and look at all of the details of the murders, it was rather gruesome uh, something i didn't want to really put in today's show just for a different feel i hope you've enjoyed the format of today's show a very short and quick one but a show nonetheless um, and i am busy working on something really big at the moment it's taking up a lot of my time a lot of my efforts and energy is going into this next podcast that i'm recording so i ask that you just remain patient and when it does come out show me some love some criticism uh, whether it's positive or negative because yeah i like to get feedback from you folks and i hope you've enjoyed this one nonetheless and remember one thing when you go to bed tonight that's right if you know me by now i'm going to leave you with this when the lights go out the night goes quiet and you put your phone down on your bedside table you hear a little scuffling noise there could be someone under your bed.